What do you think of when you think of fair food? You might think of hot dogs and hamburgers, or maybe you think of cotton candy, corn on the cob, fried potatoes, or even pasta? This answer will probably vary based on the country you are from, and today we want to take you along with us to the biggest fair along the Rhine River here in Germany. What's up everybody? We are Diana and Phil and we are at the Rhine Kirmes here in Düsseldorf, which is Germany's biggest fair on the River Rhine. And it's, it's huge. Yes it is. And we're here to try all the good food that they have to offer at a typical big German fair. I can smell the food, I can see the food, let's eat. Alright, one thing that is super common of course in Germany is the good old Bratwurst and Bread Roll. That's what we're going to do right now. It's a funny looking one. It's uh, thin and long and a very round bread roll. And then you can usually put your own ketchup and mustard on it. Mmm. Oh, it's actually pretty good. It's better than I thought. It's pretty fresh. One of the first ones of the day, I think. That's dip, a long wiener. Dip in a little ketchup here. Wow, it's hot. So it's pork sausage, of course. It's smoked over real flames. Super German thing. You can find it everywhere in Germany. The Bratwurst is probably the go-to snack on every fair in Germany. All right, I'm gonna try this long stick of meat. You really can't go anywhere in Germany without seeing some type of sausage at a fair or <laughs> without outdoor a long event. Stick of meat. Oh yeah. Hmm. That's a pretty good sausage. It's not the best wiener I've ever had. It's not the worst. It's very satisfying. Oh, yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> Ich hätte gerne einmal die Champignons mit der Kräutersoße, bitte. All right, this is mushroom with herbal sauce on it. In German, it's champignons. We call them champignons, you know, the type of mushroom. And this is very common at all the fairs. And I always found that a little funny that there's just mushrooms because mushrooms is such a sight to me. And I think I never ordered that, but it's very common at these fairs. They're nicely roasted in this big cast iron pan and you have choice of three different sauces. This is the herbal sauce. Look at this one, nicely coated. I hope they're good. Oh, you'll like this. I love I mushrooms. You love mushrooms. They're pretty oily, they're on the oily side, but a lot of things on the fairs are like on the heavier, hardier, oilier side and so are these mushrooms. You get a little bread on the side. Well, I yeah, like them. A mushroom sandwich going on? Wow. Mushroom in a blanket. Well, I don't know. They're pretty good. Pretty good mushrooms. All right, I'm going to give these a try. I love mushrooms. This is my choice of topping for a pizza, so... Mmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Totally. This could be a meal for me. I don't need it as a side. Yana approved mushroom. Oh, yeah. That's so good. All right, we have our container. Can't forget the sauce. There's a gurkenfässchen. Nice. All right, we're getting a gurke. Ooh, should we get knoblauch? Yeah, if you want good. to, yeah. Okay, Salt. Let's do that then. Hello. Uh, ich hätte gerne einen, uh, eine knoblauch gurke, bitte. They look nice. Yeah, they look awesome. Dankeschön. I got a pickle. Hey, 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 hey. I think our biggest struggle here is going to be copyright music, which is blaring everywhere right now. Um, we're gonna go to the back a little bit so I can eat my pickle in peace. Being from South Carolina and used to the South Carolina State Fairs, I'm used to them frying a pickle. I, Not a normal pickle. Where's the fried dough around I it? I never saw a pickle <laughs> on a fair or anywhere. Maybe I haven't noticed, but that's a proper pickle. Look at that thing. We chose the knoblauch guaca, which is the garlic pickle. It's probably soaking in garlic sauce or some garlic vinegar combination. It smells very much like garlic. No one's going to talk to us for the rest of the day. <laughs> it's a thick pickle. Yeah, so let's just give it a try. Mmm, mmm, whoa. Dude, that's a nice pickle. <laughs> Best fair food ever? Yeah. The pickle. It's, it's very refreshing because right now it is around like 34 degrees Celsius, it's whatever warm. that is in Fahrenheit. Our equipment is uh, overheating our camera, our phones, so it is hot today and this pickle is very refreshing. Dang, Dude, I never thought okay. a two euro pickle would I be so I want the first bite so of pickle. Good. Look how thick that is. <laughs> this feels very sensual, mm. <laughs> right? That's so nice, man. Yeah, I'm gonna shove my face with some pickles. Bratwurst and get a pickle on the side, it's awesome. Mm. Definitely one of the weirder things we'll find here but also very good and surprising. Yeah. 10 out of 10 pickle. Wow, that was such a great start. I cannot wait to try more. This is what the doctor describes on a day like this. Some ice cream from Dr. Ice Cream. Um, drink a salt cartoffel twister, has it canon? Oh, that looks good. 
paprika salt. We got a selection of all the salts. All right, me as the world's leading potato connoisseur. I'm trying this potato thing. Self-proclaimed. <laughs> oh, the world knows. <laughs> they put this whole big potato on a stick and then it runs through this machine, which cuts it up nicely like this twister style here. Then they deep fry it in the deep fryer for like two, three minutes. And then you get your choice of salt on there in the end. We picked the classic paprika, paprika flavor for our paprika chip. Probably the most German chip. one. Yeah. And I'm so curious, I never had this. I'm expecting like a mix between a potato wedge and some potato chips. I also don't know how to eat it, but here we go. Oh, lost for words. Oh yeah. Oh, it's good. It's, it's fatty again. It's like a very, very fatty deep fried potato with the salt on it. It's just nice. You can't go wrong with potatoes. If you like fries, if you like potato wedges or potato tots, anything made from a potato, you will like this thing too. I think what this is missing is dipping it in some kind of garlic sauce. That would be awesome. Bruh, bruh, my turn. He's just shoving it in his face. Can I get a bite? Dude, first I thought five euro for one potato, and that's pretty steep, but damn, this is good. <laughs> so I've been really excited to try one of these every time we go to any street fair or Christmas market. These are always on it, but I think we've been too cheap to get them. It looks awesome and I'm very excited. I love it. Oh, wow. Dude. This is so good. This is what I mean when I talk about fair food. I want deep fried goodness, this fatty flavor. Ooh, explosion in your mouth. Nice and crispy on the outside, but uh, soft and still a, like a hash brown potato on the inside. Like it's got this smoother texture inside. Mmm, this might be my favorite thing. Yeah, man, it's a potato. Dang. So this is the one thing we didn't need to take home. It's being finished, demolished. Potato Twister, best stand on the whole fair. So by the way, for the last two years, because of the pandemic, the whole fair was closed, so it's finally back. And it is the biggest one on the River Rhine. The River Rhine is just right there. I'm kind of impressed by how big it actually is. I've been to the Oktoberfest and I feel like this is half the size. So this is massive, this place. And I think it's about a third food, a third drinks, and then a third fair games and rides. And they have the classic fair games where, you know, you play for these cute plushy animals and stuff. But there are also massive roller coaster like things. We have the classic Ferris wheel up there. Then you also have like proper roller coasters. Well, they've been building it up for the past few weeks now, at least three weeks. We've watched them slowly build this up and I'm thoroughly impressed. This is huge. There she is in front of the next Bavarian tent. She's not admitting it on camera, but every time she wants to go in there and see the Bavarian sausages, that's what she asked for. What? It's time to go to Bavaria. Bavaria. All right, we're playing Runaway from this copyright music right now. Where are we right now? We are in a little Bavaria tent right now. The there Alpine section. Yeah. yeah, there are tents throughout this whole fair, and they look like they're just for drinking and loud music. Phil calls it Schlager music, right? Yeah, Schlager music, traditional music, Mallorca music, all that stuff. We're gonna start off with a drink that is very typical in Germany. It's an Apfelschule, apple juice with sparkling water. This is what the Germans love during the summertime. That's true, that's such a summertime drink. Is it amazing? Tastes like spicy apple juice. Why would you do that? I don't know. What is spicy apple juice? The bubbly, the carbonation. Oh. Why would you need to gas your apple juice? You're just okay. not a fan of the sparkling stuff. Not a sparkling water fan. But you're a fan of? Langosh. I love this. This is a very street food item throughout Europe. And it's a deep fried dough. And we got the sour cream cheese and pan on this one. So it's a beautiful deep fried dough with toppings on it. Sometimes there's cheese stuffed inside of it. Mm your dough you just got. I don't know how I'm gonna bite of this. Mm. Ever since Hungary, ever since we've been to Budapest, we're getting this thing everywhere. I love it. It might be one of my favorite street foods in general, so I'm very biased. Even a not so great langosh is still a good langosh in my book. What I love about it is it's just this crispy fried dough. And this is what you think of when you think of fair food. It's just this dough that is very crispy and, and just fatty <laughs> in flavor. And then you have the cheese and the sour cream that this like cooling component to it. 
Then you have a nice salty ham on top. Mm, this is so good. Yeah, so we had to stop for drinks like Diana said and I got a little beer, but an alcohol free version. They always have that, which is nice if you don't want to get wasted, but most people want to get wasted. So there's more alcohol versions, of course, as well. The Erdinger, the Erdinger beer. The Erdinger. With a lemon taste. With a little bit of lemon might trigger some people, but it still tastes good. I like it. I like the lemon, the lemon part. I'm gonna give the langosh a quick try. It could put a little more of the sour cream on here. Mmm, still good though. But if I remember correctly, the one in Budapest that was smothered with sour cream. Yeah. That was dripping off it, and that was awesome. That one's hands down my favorite. This is pretty good though. This is a hearty snack, and uh, if you eat that thing all by yourself, it's a good sized meal as well. All right, so one thing I notice about this fair here in Germany is that there are way more drinking tents and drinking stalls. It's just, it feels like it was made for drinking. There are a ton of tents with loud music playing and uh, it seems like a place where you can enjoy yourself. There are even like certain DJs that come out during certain days of the week. And uh, yeah, it seems pretty cool. Yeah, this is definitely made for drinking. There's even a hospital section back there for all the alcohol problems that occur later in the day. They're prepared, it's good. Yeah, but it's good. also a little worrying that maybe uh, it goes a little overboard often. This is another one of these tents. Um, I think they have like 15 or 20 on this whole fair. And uh, a lot of them have roofs and in the evening they open till midnight and on the weekends till 2 a.m. And it's gonna be a lot of drinking, a lot of Schlager music and all the Germans getting drunk. And so is Deanna. I'm not drunk. Yet. Before we continue filling our pie holes with more food, we need you to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It's free, thank you. And if you wanna further support us, you can become a channel member or support us on patreon.com slash Deanna and Phil, where we make additional monthly videos. A quick shout out to Anthony LeJudis, our newest family tier patron. Now let's eat. I'll see our next thing, but this one is all you, the corn. Corn on the cob. I've got my corn on the cob, and this is what I'm used to from fairs. I think corn is a very standard thing, right? Probably around the world, yeah. So let's give it a try. <laughs> this is the type of thing you get stuck in your teeth for the rest of the day, and you need a toothpick, but that is nice. We, we watched her spread some butter on there, some herbal butter all over it. You can add some salt if you want, but we opted out of that. Our sodium levels are probably gonna be out the roof today. <laughs> it's definitely summer temperature today, so. Mmm, well, it's way softer than I expected. It's been boiling there for a while. Oh, yeah. You know, when you eat it raw, it's very hot and um, crunchy, chewy. Yeah. I like this a lot. I think uh, I like why I don't usually like it is the raw ones. But yeah, this one's nice. Mm -hmm. Another bite. You can make order with it. That's good. Yeah, I like it. Mm. All right, welcome to outside of the fair. The so one, nice and calm here. The one area that doesn't have loud blaring music and screaming, but we have a backfish brochen. Perfect, <laughs> backfish brochen. What kind of right. fish is it? I don't even know what kind of fish this is, but um, it's a pretty good whopper. It's also not on the cheap side. It's 750 for this uh, fish sandwich with sauce. It's remoulade sauce. It's also deep fried, like a proper fair food should be. <laughs> Health what? What is health right now? <laughs> yeah. is, it, is it like that in the US? Yeah, if you go to any fair in the US, it's a lot of fried food. We fry everything, Snickers, Snickers. okra, any, anything you name it, it's I fried. I heard about the fried Snickers and I never had it, I want it. Before we eat this, we stepped out here at the fair in the background. You can see it there. Yeah. And then right here is the River Rhine That's and on the other side... Altstadt. But enough said, you bite into that jummy, jummy tail. The jummy tail. The jummy tail. Mmm. And now I bite into the jummy tail. Mmm. That's deep fried. We watched him drop it into the deep fryer. It sizzle up for about two to three minutes. Lay it out there, let it rest for a second, put it in a bread roll. Mmm. Here we go. The thing is, the, the batter is seasoned nicely. Sometimes you get a very bland, just oily flavor. The oil doesn't taste old or anything, you know, it's, it still tastes fresh, so. That's a pretty good sandwich. Yeah, it's good. I really like the fish sandwiches. This is more from like Northern Germany because we have the oceans there. And then these like sausage stuff or uh, pretzels, vice versa. If you find any that, like that, that's more of the Southern stuff. So maybe let us know what your preference would be, Northern German food or Southern German food. But uh, the good thing is we have them all right here. So it's yes. got the Tupperware. We've got the sandwich in here with other stuff ready to eat later. We have food for two days. Going in. Physically can't eat it all, but there's always room for dessert, so... Los Gates! 
I want a caravan for me, ma. You like dags? You like dags? Ah, oh, yeah. So it is mostly cash-based here. They want small coins or bills, but there's an ATM machine, so uh, a mobile if you ATM need your money, truck. you can withdraw it here. It's my friend. After all that food, what I needed is ice cream because it's so freaking hot today and uh, we're gonna be sunburned tomorrow. But yeah, they have a lot of soft serve ice cream, a lot of slushies, they have smoothies and milkshakes and also normal ice cream. I just got the very boring standard combination chocolate and vanilla. Wow. How was it? It's actually pretty good. <laughs> Wasp. Wasp There's the vanilla and then the three euros, 150 per scoop. And uh, I think that's pretty normal for even city standards. It's good ice cream, good soup. Good soup. I wonder if this is Diana's thing. Look at all the plushies. It's crazy. Which one's the cutest? Hello, oh, man. They're so cute. Look at the huskies. What are you looking at? I want the small. Look at him. He's gonna suffer. I could get him. No. A red panda. Got a koala. I like red pandas, but no. No. We need to keep going. It's only 12 euros. Yeah, yeah. I want him. <laughs> We're getting the hedgehog. He's just the prize of one fish brooch in. We didn't even have to play a fair game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, so we sat down here at the edge, uh, by the way, over there, it's that whole hospital wing. So by the time this video comes out, it will, it'll be a week. And uh, I think Friday that this releases, there's supposed to be huge fireworks yes. going on. So, so go this evening. So go this evening, yeah. We just or got the little hedgehog. His name is gonna be Kermis. Yeah, and hedgehog in German is ego. How cool is that? He's a little ego. Yeah, and after my ice cream, Diana had to get some dessert as well. So, so I she got a crep. The crep. Yeah, which is very standard throughout all of Europe. I feel like this is one of the popular street foods in general that you'll find yeah. here. Yeah. It's just this fluffy pancake style thing, very thin on this hot plate, and then you put your topping of choice in it. We normally would go for the Nutella, but I think it's just way too hot, and we've had too much food. Mm. Show me your crap. Show me your crap. Look at my crap. Mm -hmm. One bite for me. I'm so full. I would normally go for like popcorn or almonds, but uh, I felt like something different. Well, I'm so glad I said yes to the cinnamon and sugar. That stuff's good on there. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Mmm, this is very good. This is it for the food from the fair. We tried as much as we could. I think we got a good amount of the staples in, but there's so much more to try. That's an infinite amount. I think it's impossible to eat it all in one setting. Let us know what fair food is like in your country. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.